Hello, the topic of this video is customer retention rate. Customer retention rate is the probability that a customer will continue to use the products or services offered by a business in a given period of time. In a subscription-based business model, retention can be observed as the renewal of services. In a purchase-based business model, retention can be observed as repeat purchases. There's an alternative definition of customer retention rate taking an aggregated perspective. Here is the percentage of customers among a specific group who will continue to use the products or services offered by a business in a given period of time. Examples of customer group include a sign-up cohort or a customer segment representing a specific geographic region. In order to understand customer retention rate, we first need to define churn. Churn is an event that signifies the loss of a customer. It can be manifested by determination of subscription services. Or it could also be observed as the lack of purchases over an extended period of time. Retention rate can be defined as 1 minus the probability of churn in a given time interval. Here is how we can estimate the retention rate for a group of customers. It's simply 1 minus the ratio between the number of customers who churned in time interval t and the total number of customers who were active at the start of the time interval. A type of statistical model known as the time-to-event model is particularly suitable for studying customer retention. Churn is considered an event that will ultimately happen for any given customer. So retention can be measured by the length of time it takes for a customer to churn. In the following schematic diagram, retention is the time interval between the time of customer activation and the time of customer churn. Here is a toy example of the customer retention curve for a specific sign-up cohort. The horizontal axis shows the number of months since customer sign-up and activation. The vertical axis shows the percentage of customers who remain active at various points in time. An important point on this curve is the time at which 50% of the customers have churned. This is known as the median retention of the group. For this particular cohort, it happens to be 4 months. Various modeling techniques can be used to understand customer retention. These analytics efforts are called customer retention modeling, which can achieve two objectives. Number one, it helps to understand the drivers of customer retention, some of which are intrinsic factors about the customers, while other factors are related to the products or services. Knowledge about the drivers of customer retention can help prioritize the marketing and product efforts of a company. The second objective of customer retention modeling is to predict the customer retention outcome of any given individual. This can help identify customers who are at the highest risk for attrition so that early interventions can be taken to prevent churn. We will discuss further details about customer retention modeling in other videos. Thank you for watching. See you next time.